my gosh, so here's this scenario. <clears throat> you could be in a, a situation when women have some guy might approach you, maybe he has his friend, he didn't happen to see his friend might be a part of the accomplice. Uh, we're gonna get an altercation. He's gonna come from behind and try to wrap around me, to try to continue so he can, he can strike me. And he, that, in the midst of that, he, I tend to have a shirt over. He's gonna feel that gun and he's gonna go for the gun. And I'm gonna show you some principles you can use. Hey, Mike, you want your palm, Joe? Ah. Now, if you see what I did, we're not going to so much focus on the guy in the front, it's the guy in the back. So, I'm playing with this guy. You see his grip on the side. I didn't move my gun. I got, I'm going to put my hand down and sink. I don't want to pull that gun out. That's my way to move. I still got to worry about this guy. I'm keep my hands up so I get hit. What I want to do is just turn and get out of that distance. Or that, right? So, what I'm doing, I'm sinking and I'm turning out of the way. I'm gonna rotate out. Now this is very painful. Now be careful when you're training. You do this slow. You can really hurt the wrist. I'm, I'm anchoring down, and by turning out, that's a lot of tension on that wrist. Okay, you do some serious damage. It's okay if you go for your gun. Don't worry about it. You break the wrist. When you're training. Be very careful. So what? I'm, that's about turning this way. I'm out now. If he's over here. I can throw him into him, and at the same time, protect this gun. And guard the gun and get out. Know those type of techniques. Start punching, kicking, whatever, and then get out. One thing is you, you sink your weight, you check that weapon, and you get out of the line of attack. Now, for whatever reason, he comes from the back. I don't have to worry about the guy in the front. If he comes in, I can go also to the inside. I turn around. Especially when you do this with force, it's basically like a throw. Here, very easy throw. It's almost the same as if uh, you're being pickpocketed in two. You're dropping. Wait, I'm dropping down as I turn here. My elbow. I'm sinking my weight, and it throws him. He's not going to hold on to that gun. Right out, just remember, sink your weight, drop that weapon, and you gotta figure something out to do. And always remember, especially if you're a civilian, if he doesn't have a weapon, and you get him off you, and he's controlled, and if he doesn't come back, I would definitely caution you from pulling that gun, presenting that gun on him. But you have to make that decision. When it comes to self-defense law, there's no black or white. Just what would a reasonable person do in that circumstance? So keep these in mind when you're training and have some fun.